Hello, this is Joe and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be covering the back focus on the Edge HD8 with and without the focal reducer. This should work either uh, with a mono camera and a filter wheel or with just a color camera and without the filter wheel, but most importantly with an OAG. Now, it doesn't matter if you have the Celestron OAG or the ZWO OAG, there's a strategy involved in working with the back focus so that you don't have to keep adjusting your camera on your OAG to get focus when you remove and add the reducer. In order to achieve back focus using the reducer, we need 105 millimeters from the reducer to the sensor of the camera, starting with the SCT adapter, which is 25.3 millimeters, then the OAG body itself, which is 29 millimeters, the camera adapter that's just directly on the other side of the OAG at 12.5 millimeters. Then we have a medium spacer that's 11.55 millimeters, the filter wheel, which is 20 millimeters, and then the space in between the edge of the camera and the sensor, which is 6.5 millimeters which brings us to a grand total of 104.85 millimeters, very close to our 105. This setup will work with any mono camera with a 6.5 millimeter space between the edge of the camera and the sensor. Now let's take a look at the configuration without the reducer. And in this configuration, you need 133 millimeters from the back of the SCT to the camera sensor. Now, in this configuration, I have the ASI 2600 MM Pro in place of the 294 MM Pro. So the sensor in the back has 12.5 from the camera edge to the sensor as opposed to the 6.5 from the 294. So starting at the back of the SCT, we have the SCT-T adapter, which is 50 millimeters, the OAG-T adapter at 4.5 millimeters, and we have the OAG body at 29 millimeters, the OAG camera adapter at 12.5 millimeters, the filter wheel, 20 millimeters, the screw adapter between the filter wheel and the tilt plate is two millimeters and the tilt plate is five millimeters. Adding the camera to that, we have 12.5 millimeters for a grand total of 135.5 millimeters. This is very close to the 133 and I don't have any issues with the extra 2.5 millimeters in my back spacing. So now let's take a look at this image here where we have the reducer on our Edge HD8, but also with the 2600. Uh, what you'll notice is, is that instead of the T adapter that comes off of the SCT, the back of the SCT, we have a 0.7 reducer. And then from there, we use the 25.3 millimeter adapter that screws onto the reducer and goes into the OAG. Everything after that, back to the camera sensor, is identical to the way that we had it when we did not have the reducer on. And this is very advantageous for us because it keeps the distance between the camera sensor and the prism in the OAG the same in either configuration, which means that we do not have to adjust the guide camera inside of the OAG sleeve to achieve focus. It will stay the same whether we are imaging at the full 20, 32 millimeters or the 14, 20 millimeters with the reducer. As an alternative, you could see in this image where we've removed the two millimeter screw adapter and the tilt plate from the 2600 camera and we've bolted it directly onto the filter wheel. And then from there, we've added a six millimeter spacer in between the filter wheel and the OAG camera adapter. This actually gets us a little bit closer to our 105 millimeters and just an alternative way of running the 2600 camera. And again, the same thing applies here. You would 
be able to either have the reducer or the T adapter on the other side of the OAG and you can keep the backspacing the same between the prism and the camera sensor and you will not have to adjust for your OAG guide camera focus. So to clarify what I mean by the same distance between the prism and the sensor on your camera, if your prism is right here and the sensor on your camera is right here and the distance between the sensor and the prism, whatever length that is, needs to be the same as the distance from the prism here to the top of the guide sensor, guide camera sensor here. This distance and this distance need to be equal in order to achieve focus from your OAG guide camera. All of these configurations should also work with the one-shot color camera, providing that you're using a, a filter drawer. Most filter drawers are 20 or 21 millimeters in depth, which would replace the filter wheel that I'm currently using in my setup. If you don't want to use a filter drawer and just want to hook up the camera directly, you can use the 21 millimeter extension that comes with most of the ZWO cameras. Well, I hope you found that video useful or entertaining. If so, please go ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, as it really does help the channel. And if you're considering getting the ZWO ASI 2600 MM Pro for your Edge 8, then go ahead and check out this video right here where I do a complete review on the camera.